is the river comes so high uh, in, it was May 20th about, it actually made it up to here. That was the level, just rushing down. So I've, it's tight. I have about a foot and a half of freeboard. That's it. <laughs> Until the whole farm floods. Wow. Yeah. So you can see, I mean, you're going to be seven feet at least down. And like you say, that's a big river. You look at the amount of water, you know, to uh, basically fill this seven. Oh, it's up that high there. Yeah. Right straight across is full. Just rushing down for basically a month. Because it's 100% caused by melting snow. You have, well, met, met half of Manning, so you've got 100 square kilometers, sorry, 100 kilometers distance all flowing down through here. All that snow, six feet high, melting and coming here. So it's massive. Fat Dog Ranch, Pango Ranch. Um, here in Princeton, we have been here. We've done ultras on the farm here. We're across the river from the Fat Dog um, Vertical Mile. Sammy was at the inaugural race. But what we did this year was unique. We did a cattle roundup and we got some of the team coming out. We were helping a neighbor rancher round up his cattle out of the mountains. We're just going to collect them all up and drive them, drive them south. Are you, you're not hauling them down? No, you're we, driving. We put, like I ran basically from here all the way through here, all the way around. And, you know, Jamie, Karen, Herbie and Cindy were on horses. So you were literally running? Yeah, yeah literally running. I did 26 running. kilometers today. Yeah, so, but it's tough kilometers because you're, Wait, you're, you're fighting, sinking. You're, you're more of deadfall. I don't, know, I don't, you know, I don't know what everybody expects or what everybody's a tough time. Yeah, and it's tough. Pain and so, suffering. Yeah. This well, is no, this I'm, is no trail. Is you there's no trail. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, yeah. Best, so what yeah. happens is, is as you're pushing, say you're pushing six or ten or twenty cows down the road, two of them will bugger off into the bush. And you got to go out and around them. You got to go wide, mm -hmm. and out and around to get them, in front of them, run them back into the road. Once they're up in the road, then it settles down again. Yeah. And then five minutes later, one of them will bugger off the other, <laughs> bugger off this way, bugger off that way. And they just do that all the time. All the whole time. Any particular signal you use? Yes. For no! <laughs> you stupid animal! Maybe they understand. Yeah. Uh, just yell. <laughs> just I, yell. I call them late. Ladies, let's go! But I'm more gentle. Blair's more <laughs> aggressive. Yeah, <no. laughs> That's me. This Dry Lake Road is about four kilometers from the bottom to the top. Um, I think we have cows down in here, but I'm not sure. Yeah. So depending on, you know, what kind of a day you guys want. I don't know that to anything. This, yeah. is, this is an adventure for me. I mean, it's... Yeah. It, for, I didn't know how many people initially, so I had said maybe two people with a horse. I thought maybe, I don't know if you or somebody experienced, we go with that person. And then that person says, oh, I see two over there, or you guys yeah. go check in those trees. Yeah. And so sort of we're with one experienced person, and we do the running. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Horses usually go where they can. Yeah. But then, you know, some of this stuff, like the cows will just wedge themselves right into the deadfall area. And they'll just try and hide. So they just run into the thickest stuff they can find and just park themselves and they'll be really quiet. 
and you have to <laughs> run through the bush looking down low so that you can see legs or whatever. And the horses don't like going through a deep deadfall and they don't like going through trees that are really narrow and tight together. And I find when I'm doing it is, you know, that's different from a regular run is that you're sprinting for, you know, 30 seconds or yeah. a minute or whatever. And sometimes it's up a you know steep scree slope to get above the cows to bring them back down, and then then and then you back it off a little bit. Yeah. Because you can't chase cows on the run. They if you try and run a cow too hard, they'll really push off to the side. What when you're coming up this road, for instance, it's a it's a grind. I don't think it's quite the growth grind, but it's mm -hmm. a grind. And there's all kinds of little spurs off to the side. Some sort of growing in, some not so growing in. And, you know, we kind of got to go in there and check, see if there's cows, see if there's fresh cow shit, see, you know, see what there is, right? The, all these roads that are sometimes 500 meters long, they're sometimes a kilometer long. You get down to the end, there's no cows, you turn around, you come back to the main road, then you go up. Come to the next one, you go down. But you almost, almost kind of need radio so that you know who's where, right? Yeah. And that's yeah. the part there. So. so roughly do you think we would come back and drive in this one and then do these offshoots or? Yeah, like the problem with this road is the guy that owns this property here is he's blocked it off. So you have to park there, get out of your vehicle and hike over a mound of dirt and then you know, do the four kilometers to the top of the road. So we, otherwise, I would bring horses and park them there. Yeah. But we can't get the horses over the dirt pile. Yeah. yeah. No, and that's how this all started. In the summertime, it was here. Yeah. And was, we were talking about running or racing, and he said, oh, you should be here at Roundup. You know, I run through the bushes and that, and you guys yeah. should come and try this. So that's where we all started. Okay, everybody together here. We conquered the first hill. I wouldn't say that. That, that was tough. <laughs> that was tough, definitely. <laughs> Just so you know, my hiking stick uh -huh. is from the Amazon of Venezuela. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, I brought this back in 90... Would you know when I worked in Venezuela? 96. Mm. That looks like uh, bamboo. Yeah. It, it, uh, it's a special bamboo that they use for the Maybe hiking pardon. sticks. Like almost like a walnut tree, so it must be very strong. <laughs> Off we go. Moo! The mouse. Uh oh. How do we get through? This is a, a, a cattle guard. We are not allowed to cross. Do we go home, Sammy? Uh oh. Think so. You're the farmer. What do we do? Fence. Limbo! It's a limbo. Oh, here! Oh. It's called the plank walk. It, you gotta get back. <laughs> oh! Wait, there's room for two. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, actually, he's just... Oh, he's got Rambo version! <laughs> <laughs> James is going the uh, military version. <laughs> okay, here's the first lesson. This is old. This is not fresh. No? No. Okay. How old, let, Terry? Let me, let me, <laughs> let me test it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Oh, hey, there's one. Yeah, yeah. It's way down there, though. Is, I wonder if they are from the neighbor, though. That's what I'm wondering just now. I, I think they are from the neighbor. They're coming from. You see the cow? Yeah. Yeah, you see the cow over there? That's whale. Yeah, yeah, whale. Yeah. I think that's where it's coming from. Yeah, I don't that's think we should steal the, the wrong cows. I think different, that's different color tags. That's called cattle rustling, and they hang you in the <laughs> town for cattle rustling. Come on, Sammy, don't steal. Stop stealing people's cows. Yeah, there's a special, special phone number. I think it's 5555 to report poachers. <laughs> false alarm. Oh, yeah, false alarm. And I stole it Here two years ago. You can see them on the left. Yeah, we better not steal those ones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but easy picking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got to bring them up the hill, though. Yeah. <laughs> Over the berm. Good luck with that big ten, guy there. Ten, ten of them. Ten of them. Yeah. yeah. Easy picking. You all of a sudden showed up with 20 <laughs> All the wrong ones. <laughs> There's no finder sheet? No clue. They are uh, already giving the signal. <laughs> yeah, that's so it. They are uh, friends. They're coming. Those, uh, yeah. Ringer, Ringer. Ringer. This one's fresher. Yeah, it's very Here we go. Fresher, like about a month ago. Still not fresh enough. Did <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody put a green in the Chevy? It's <laughs> in the truck. Just for our first one, we better we better go further than this. Yeah, this is only a hundred meters. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know we need to go off the side. The question is, if we find a cow, how do we get it out? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, well, currently we're. Uh, we're supposed to do it the same as if we would be lifting your coffin. <laughs> <laughs> How big is the cow? How big is the cow? <laughs> I don't know if they're a point you judge and say, okay, they're not going through here. That's where it'd be nice if Blair or somebody that's done was it before, with us, yeah. they say, oh no, was with no, us. this is yeah. stupid. This yeah. is stupid, yeah. Absolutely no, yeah. guaranteed there's none yeah. in here. Yeah. You know, they don't go through this. What do you want to do? I thought head back to the road. Because there's some longer roads down there. So yeah. We're not wasting too much time. Yeah. Who's Norman? Norman was Is the, he little, the bad cow? Uh, little calf. Billy Crystal inherited at the end, right? Yeah. Taken to New York. Is that a road? We have a road. Gone. Checking out the flats. Oh, 
fat dog uh, course markings. It's just going to, and then I thought, okay, we have to review. So we'll go down and so see. So we went in, we went in yeah. and did a loop yeah. and then end up, saw that we were at the road. So I said, okay, let's go back down, get my hat and see if you guys are there. Yeah. yeah. So we weren't going to continue. Yeah. Yeah. That fresh. So yeah, we, you can it see it was like yesterday. Yeah. yeah. We found a nice little dried up stream. They've spent a yeah, lot of time. Of them. Yeah. Yeah. There, so. yeah. But no luck, no. But so. if you're gone an hour, we've lost an hour. And yeah, you're but rounding up. But if we're gone an hour, then we're not going more than an hour so. in the yeah. world. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And you shouldn't be carrying on. Budweiser, mate! <laughs> no, at this yeah. point, you might very well go up here. See how this road... Yeah, but can... then we don't know if we're ahead or behind you. If, if there's cattle. If there's cattle, you're going to go wherever they go. <laughs> but basically, we'll be here. Yeah. And we'll wait there. We'll wait here for you. Yeah. Or if you get up here... Leave your hat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot easier with uh, Gary Robbins flagging every 50 feet. Yeah. But here we are. This is like oh. Barkley where we have to navigate. So You've done Barkley a number of times, have you? Uh, yeah, with the cows. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Barkley. Me? No way. Yeah. See what we found? There's a, that's the uh, headers. Uh, we think is a headers marking. Oh. We found flagging. It's blue. Uh, I know. So it's for the blue team. Yeah. We captured the flag. <laughs> Where is it? Well, we didn't take it down because there's <laughs> other there's other participants. Yeah. We're not the sweep. We're 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 the racers. <laughs> All right, Sammy, let's go. To, uh, we we got our first book page. Oh, the the blue is going here or uh, oh, red? Oh, sorry, blue. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, blue's going. Okay. All right. Let's continue here to try and get in front of them. Or to the side of them at least. They're gonna be so pissed that we were the ones <laughs> that found them. Of course we're probably gonna chase, we're probably gonna go to them. They know the shortcuts <laughs> of the road and then they're gonna claim the find. Can you see them at all? No. Just wondering when we should play. Oh. Well, we need to get around the back side of them so we can yep. push them towards the road. Yeah. Depends how far they took off. Not sure how far they took Yeah, let's go up a little bit to at least see if we can see them. All right, we're looking for the cows. We saw two big ones and then they bolted. Now we can't find them. So that's Peter up there. And we're just moving up. Let's see if we can find them. Should we keep going up or just across? I think kind of across, because we're already higher than the previous loop we did. Okay, so yeah, we'll go across. Yep. Why don't you just go up a little bit higher? Okay, we found a cow. I'll say we keep pushing up up the mountain towards the road. No. In through there, so let's go just slowly so we don't spook. And you just say we'll try and push. Actually, let me just look the map and we kind of want to push them up. Just want to confirm where the road is. 
but like any direction this way eventually we get to the road yes yeah. we just don't want them going down that no. way so maybe Let's we can come up underneath them a little bit and keep flushing them up Let's just go slow until we see him again. I only saw the black one. So he's going down. I'm going across. Oh man, where'd that cow go? Man, this is hard. How hard is it to find a cow? Yep, up here, they bolted again. Just up here. I don't know which way they went, I heard them. As soon as they hear, hear you, they just bolt. They don't want to be found. All right, still looking for the cows. We spotted them twice, they bolted twice. And there's like a maze forest out here. Don't see them. All right, cows, where are you? Oh man, all that running for nothing. <laughs> I hope we get a lift back. <laughs> no, not this one. But we were, we, we were chasing them up and they were heading this way. They could have crossed over the road. But it's just down here a little bit. But they could be anywhere in here. He started back there. I can hear them right now. Well, look at him. You can hear them back in there. Yeah. So I guess they didn't run off. Uh, we don't know if they, they dived off before we came out to the road. Um, but we didn't see any signs that they crossed the road. Yeah, it kind of opens up and there's lots of bedded down grass where the cows would be. Yeah. And it's just, you just got to get through this a little bit. Well, it's it's easier saying. if you go around the bottom and then yeah, come up. You read. Well, I think this is a little side that road. Then. That was the first road. Go Second. down to that road and come in. Yep. Yeah. We did a little loop here. Yeah. We did a bigger loop. I don't think we checked out this part. No, um, we just like see a, on the. It's like a trail that goes down here. Yeah. Let's see. But this is 
an unexplored area for sure. I don't think to what point you say, okay, that's it, that's well, a calm down. Well, we're kind down. of at that point now where, like, we, you guys have seen them multiple times, we've never seen them once, so until we dig them out of there, it's like, I don't know. Better. If we'd been drinking, you would think that <laughs> we hadn't seen them. I've got a picture to prove it. <laughs> we didn't oh. take your picture, but... but I got uh, a picture. I got a picture. Yeah. No. Okay. So, so then you're so thinking... We're, we're thinking of, of quitting and moving yeah. on to some other cows. Yeah. We don't want to see if we can find some other cows. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Would, yeah. they, would they ever decide to somehow come back to themselves? If you don't get them out it's too late, then they do end up dying in there. So oh, we do try and get them out, you know, early enough. But more important, you get the main herd in. Yeah. Maybe come back or... Yeah. Or, they need to touch up or, or sometimes they do come out on their own. It's hard to say, you know. It's just, each yeah. animal is different. Yeah. So you and, you and Sammy... Uh, you and Sammy found... Three. 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 So you yeah. saw them or just heard yeah. them? No, yeah. We actually saw them. We saw three. Them. Like, we were like <laughs> no. walking like a, this. And we, could, close we weren't making noise at that point. Just this one massive black one. I actually wondered if it was like a bull. And then two calves behind it. So we just very oh. slowly we did a, We did grid James. search in there three times James. and we didn't see it. must be at least over there. Yeah, yeah. Sammy. It's Told you a million times, don't exaggerate. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I like I never seen even in the this movies. Yeah. yeah, I, I couldn't like, believe this it. was massive. Now, did you see that one? Or I, but I was, was wondering where the other mom or yeah. mom was because there were two calves the and one black one had a white face. I was just looking at the big guy getting out his weight. No, there, there was uh, look, did you see the small black one? Yeah, did it have a white face. White, 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 yeah, white, yes, yes. Total yeah, white yeah. face with a little black patch on the left eye. The, the uh, patch eye. And I don't had remember. A bit of that was uh, out of his ear. No. Uh, no, patch said, eye. Was it wounded in the war or something? No. And then a brown one. And Sammy thought one was. I thought the black one was a little bit more a size of an adult. I would say. It was more like a family almost. The so, big guy. Yeah. Oh, here's where our oop, seven. Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. So we both failed. We're not gonna get invited back next year, Terry. Oh no, we <laughs> we succeeded. We succeeded? Oh we found they didn't. Yeah, we found them. Yeah. Right where they were. Yeah, but now they're gonna die. <laughs> no, no, we're coming back to get them out. <laughs> the cowboys have uh, temporarily get, get given up. But we haven't. Team Bremner hasn't. No, we haven't. The altar guys, no, we want to go back. Save the cows. Yeah. <laughs> so what so just to clarify, yeah. the ranchers and cowboys swept this entire area. The trail running team then went in and found cows. Five. So five. far. So far. Five. But the two we found are sure. maybe the... No, they, they found two. We found three. Well, there could have been three there, we just didn't see it. Oh, Details, details. Exactly. We found five. Okay, we found five. We found five. We're ultra runners, we can't count. So we're talking that our plan backfired because by splitting up into groups of two, two wasn't enough. Because if we had four, you could have gone around yeah. one side and we could have gone around the other. We just found out that doesn't matter. They just hold <laughs> and go. <laughs> There's also clubs that do, there's competitions per... Oh, sure. sure. First time in? Blue team, red team, yeah. I like team, okay. red team. <laughs> yep. Then we'll do that. Okay. But you can't So they would at least know either, either two blues missing or two red is missing. <laughs> Rather than oh, or one of them was red. Or, or the entire team. About three K on both rows. Okay, great, thank you. 
Ja mnoho asi. So, remind me, was that the blue team that first discovered the missing cows? I yeah, do I believe so. it was. Yeah. And that was after the cowboys thoroughly swept the whole mountainside. Claiming our cows. Well, we've got a photo. We have a photo. Did, uh, did they get a photo? I don't think they got a photo. Oh, that's interesting. Get around him, get around him. He's moving. We gotta go yeah, faster. He's moving fast. This way? Yeah, he's moving fast. Whoa. Oh, we're in the bog. Oh, I didn't know we were coming to Tundra. Chest raider. Oh. They just disappear. Here he is. Find it. Got it. The white cow, black cow. Yeah, we saw it. Terry and Sammy are down below us. I don't think she came out here. Horses up on the gas line and power line, and then we're going to do a sweep. It's big wide power line and a not so wide gas line. And we're going to do a sweep from there right to uh, right to where the road crosses over and we head for home. So essentially, once we get up to the top to home, we'll be about uh, 12k. Okay. So there's a couple, yeah, a couple options: either jump in the back of the truck. And then we'll drive you up there and then push and then you down, or you can run Quads up. and horses yeah, and yeah, us and all we'll do that kind of speed. Yeah. Or you could try hitchhiking and see if <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or, you, or you can run I got a ride with this guy. I can call you guys an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, an Uber. <laughs> Yeah. 
Stragglers in red. Finally. Every time you want him to. I know. <laughs> as long as with the horse. Yeah. Yep. 
I can't catch them, the horses and the cows are way up there. Oh my god. Did you see them with all the cows? The other two horses? They went that way? Yeah, they went yeah. across and hit this thing this side over here. So we're doing another grid search. There were two cows in here somewhere. Got Pete up there and then Terry and then me down low. Let's see if we can flush them out. Or they're gone somewhere else completely. We don't know. Cows will go where the cows want to go. Okay. What we have here a bunch of cows. Cowboys have yeah. Where? 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 Okay. Okay, we've got the cows. So we have to go down this road just in case they cross over. So we've got them all down there. There's Sammy. Sammy! Yeah, they've got a whole bunch over there. Yeah, we got seven more down there, so I guess they're flushing them down. Yeah, course. yeah. So we're just making sure it's not yeah, left along here. Here we've seen nothing. Yep. But about yeah. one and a half k down here, we're just stopped right now, waiting for the group. Yep. Okay. So they're coming down. We've seen more. Yeah, there, we've got we got eyes on seven down there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, are they in? They're in. They're on the other side of the uh, barbed wire. Yeah, they're underneath the hydro lines. Okay. Are you not talking about the same thing that we just had them here? No, no, down? Another, the ones, another bunch. These ones are coming down. I found, I found the next seven. They're down, okay. they're down about uh, 3k on the left. So if you go down here all the way, 3k another, on the left. Okay. Well, hold on, but another 2k down here, you'll run into two quads sitting in the middle. Okay. And they can direct you right to the hydro lines. There's an opening there. And then as you start going down, you'll find the other ones at tower 42-5. Okay. But I think they're going to try and push them all together Let's as a way yeah, yeah, this is what they should do. Yeah, they are going right yeah, now. So when you get down here, you hope to watch it. I'll be I'll be down there for you. Okay. <laughs> so what happened when you went on your own. So I, you found those cows? I went on my own. I was with uh, Karen for a bit. And then I wind up basically, there's a section. They have a fresh plant, like like literally, the trees are about that high. Yeah. And there's, oh my God, a big field. So when we got there, I said, what are chances they will go through this? I should have seen something fallen or something. Didn't see anything, so I just came up. And when I came up, all of a sudden, I forgot her name. She goes, she points a finger, not even the voice. Yeah. Here. So you almost found her? Yeah. But someone else found her. I wouldn't know, I did not find her. <laughs> I did not find her. Uh, Herbie, Herbie pulled them out of the trail. We were just saying how nice the green grass looks. Yes. It's like a golf green. Thanks for coming out and helping us today. This is awesome. What's your name? Donovan. Donovan, awesome. Great work. We saw you way, way up there. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we're good. Yeah. Hey Blair, yeah, you're okay. There's a gate here. What are the other seven then? They're further down. There's okay. two on this side of the fence and five on the other side. Okay, so... So they have the five going now. Blair and Karen, they, they're... Yeah, and there's five more. Yeah. Okay. Seven months. Two more. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think we want to go this way because we'll be interrupting their work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They've been doing a great work just keeping yeah, them yeah, in line. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Got five cows. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I found five cows. Guys, I found five cows. Fresh footprints. Yeah. Fresh, fresh cow. <laughs> And there's a there's a, a gravel road that you could drive on, but it's kind of overgrown. And that's where I was crossing because I saw you guys go down the other way. And then so I just crossed across there and they're just laying there. So they're below that point. They're below that road and above 43 tree. Well they could have kept going. Yeah. Oh yeah. They, exactly. So probably they're probably long they're gone. They might come out on the road. I'm looking at the horizon. Adventure of the day. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm good at this cow spotting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you are, you sit down under. <laughs> He's a younger guy with a good eye. Oh my god, there's so many of them. You only caught yeah. four. Three, seven. More. Way more than seven. Is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, One, two, eight, three, nine, three, ten, eleven. Four, five, six. Wow. Seven, eight, there nine. There are some of them lying down. So what's the strategy? Maybe we go down to that road there. It's and almost shorter. Up, then, and then go just up. go along the road very quietly walking. I mean, you can see that truck didn't scare them. Yeah. So on the roadway, it's, it's almost like they're used to noises. If we can get closer and get a better picture. But remember, we need a tag. Yeah. So he, he, You have the better eyes. Have a look at it. They spotted us. Yeah, they they spotted us yet. Yeah. I'm wondering if we should go. Is he is he completely certain they're not his? He thinks so. He says the biggest thing is to find the tail. Yeah. What color? Is uh, white, white tag, white or yellow, white. Look white. Yeah, they look white. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're definitely not pink. They're they're not pink. Not pink. Yeah, and they're not scared. Yeah. Yeah, they're not scared. Yeah. They're not scared. These are tiny. They're not scared at all. These are kind of petting. Yeah. <laughs>
You right passed two blue ribbons. Oh, right there. There it is again. Right there. Ooh, James, James. There it is, James. We're on the trail. We're on the trail. We're back on the trail. Yeah, you get the uh, fuck. it up more than you did. Oh. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah. What? Six inches, seven. Yep. Whose idea was this? <laughs> so I watched the trailer to City Slippers. Yeah. I didn't see anything like this. I, I don't think I did. I, I saw... I saw horses and campfires and... I was expecting to run in with the cattle and have a nice easy afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> How did this ultra get harder? <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and watch that trailer again and see if I missed something on that. I would say we should probably put, put a book at the lake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it ha has to be at the top of the mountain as well. Oh yes, yeah, exactly. Because yeah. then people just go around the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I see a road right here. <laughs> Civilization. Yes. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> That's the next checkpoint we all that. We don't know where this is going to lead us. That was rat jaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was rat jaw. It doesn't look that bad from here. No. <laughs> No. We gotta love the steepness of that. <laughs> so now it's just all downhill to home. Are you sure? Oh yeah, it's almost all downhill from here. <laughs> almost. Yeah. Sammy? Officially yeah. is downhill for us. <laughs> Not downhill. Officially is it all Which way now? This way or this way? Straight er. This might just take us over there. Yeah, it's, it's going this way. Uh, what's your um, what does the map say? The location, uh, Pete? Yep, have a sec. I always wanted to run in this kind of a terrain. See there? That's his property right That's there. That's his property. Oh, so wow. we just go in a straight right. line, straight to it. Yeah, I think just straight. We go here. straight. Yeah. We'll get yeah. There. yeah, it's yeah. open enough. Green. Uh oh, fence. <laughs>
Okay, here they are, down there. <laughs> oh yeah, or you yep. can go down that. Yep. Let's just scowl along here. Uh. Under here, I think. Okay. We're gonna have to command or roll. Lower, lower, lower. Yep, you got it. Oh, Pete, plank, plank, plank me. Plank it up. Plank, plank, Sammy, come on, plank. Buddy. Okay, one leg. <sighs> Hold the fence up for. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh. <laughs> now I feel I need to go back under and do my plank. Okay. Right. Hold the fence up for us. I'm stranded. Oh, you got to fill it? Oh, down, down, way down, Pete. No, you're not very good at this. Okay, you got six inches, yeah. Like you're making up with the ground. Okay. Okay, yep. No. There's evidence. <laughs> My turn. Okay, I, I got to film. We got to film. Oh, he's doing it himself. He's going to turn it around. We need the ground vision. Uh, I think his stomach's on the ground. <sighs> what, his butt too low? <laughs> <laughs> We're going under the fence. Woo! We are planted. <laughs> Woo! Stand still. I think the white guy wants. They want a picture. I think they want to shoot us. <laughs> hey, what kind of a caliber you're using? <laughs> What's the range? Hands up. Ho ho! Woo! 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 <laughs> the horses are going crazy. We've seen crazy people, unlike these guys. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go down the easier way. Yeah, <laughs> There's a trail just here. Okay. The zagging was quicker. <laughs> Blue team! Blue team wins! Blue team! How are you? How are you? Hello, hello, hello. 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 We didn't bring home any cows. Yeah. <laughs> we were worried about you getting cold. We're okay. Cold. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The silhouette, sir. Oh, you're kidding. Okay. Yeah, again. <laughs> oh, that was good. 42.7. 44. 40. Oh, sorry. I got to stop my. 44. I got ripped off. <laughs> oh, I can't stop. 44. 44. What I had there. <laughs> 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 He's got to get to 40. 42.2, he needs a marathon. <laughs> what was he at? 41 something. Oh, 41 something? Did you guys come from that way or today? Or? Right, we guys, right straight over. Right down. Yeah. Yeah. All, the, all the line. All the way right. straight. No, even worse, we went out the top of the big mountain. We could see the line on the right. Yeah. And then we just came down this steep straight ridge. Down. Straight down the there's yeah. a dam. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we came down that. Oh. Had to make it harder for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> How many cows did you get back? Actually, we got. Oh, you guys missed it. We have 20 cows we put right back in over here. Yeah, today. nice. Yeah, awesome. that little pond we said, yeah. yeah.
and it was uh, an experience, I think a great experience. We had fun. We learned a lot. We chased cows, we ran after horses. What did you learn about the cattle? Sammy learned, don't look them in the eye. If you look them in the eye, they will charge you. <laughs> or run away. <laughs> or run away. Turn away, run away. Yeah. If they can see all your seeds in their periphery, then they keep running away. Yeah. So you gotta, you gotta run real wide loops and get back in, push them back in, and that's the tough part. But it was a uh, quitting experience. We had no idea what to think going into this. Never done it, never uh, had any clue what was gonna happen. And we ended up not knowing whether we were gonna run 20 kilometers or 50 kilometers. And we ended up doing uh, 43 kilometers and 1500 meters of elevation. But it isn't just a straight running, it's your bushwhackings, running over stumps, zero trails. Well, when I was anticipating that, yes, we'll find these cattle, and then they're just gonna follow us on this straight <laughs> <laughs> trail. <laughs> Did not know that with, when you see them, they're gonna bolt, then you gotta chase them. Within that 30 seconds, you don't see them anymore. So it was quite an adventure. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think the bush was, denser than anything I expected. Like you literally couldn't run. But I think like Sammy says, it was an incredible experience just to not know, go into something totally blind and not just like doing a race that you haven't done that course before, but uh, not knowing what these cattle are even gonna do, what the horses are gonna do. And uh, no, it, it was good. Weather cooperated. Um, there were two unofficial teams, the red team and the blue team, all part of Team Bremner's though. And it was... Uh, Wait, which team was victorious? Uh, the red team. Oh. If you talk to the blue team, they <laughs> will say they were victorious, but they had a photo to prove their victory. But nobody, no cowboy recognized what the photo was. It was so blurry. It's sort of like they say people have a photo of a UFO. It's a spot in the sky that nobody knows. The cow that they said was a cow looked like a burnt out stump. So I'm not saying, but I think both teams tied because they both had fun. There was a sprint finish at the end. There was a sprint oh. finish at the end. I gather what it was is the distance covered in the most time. So again, the blue team was quite a bit ahead at the start of it. And the red team, or sorry, one of the red team came along and caught them. It was down to faster than Kip, what, what's the, Kip something? Kip Chogi. Kip Chogi? Yeah. yeah. It was running at a faster pace than Kip Chogi could do. And this was after 43 kilometers that these red and blue combined did a Kip Chogi sprint. <laughs> right? That was. Yeah. That but it was, was the blue team. That was a quite blue a team won the sprint. But uh, no, 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 because again, it was sort of like in golf. The women, their driving box is up there, and the red team was back here. So the blue team was quite a ways ahead. And the red team, one of them, caught them and pushed them to the next level. I heard the elite guy on the blue team found gears he'd never had before to do the sprint. So technically he might've got to the finish line first, but the red team started a full race before. He'd run a mile to catch that guy. And then that guy sprinted, but again, it wasn't a competition. Red and blue are equal. They're all part of Team Bremner's. We eat huscaps here. Sammy came here harvesting huscaps and they don't look nice now. But also to that point though, if it wasn't for the red team, the blue team couldn't have won. Because they were so slow without you sprinting but them? Both teams were exceptionally fast because we had Huscaps for breakfast. Yes. A Huscaps yes. movie. 
Huscap smoothie, Huscap sauce on the pancakes. Yes. Yes. There what is else? there is footage of this breakfast. Here. Mm. There's the butter. See, my cup is sitting right in front of the carrot. I could just say. Uh, mm. Thank okay. you. See. Si. See, si, see. Si. It will be in the video. Okay, yeah, so that's Huscap juice. Oh, also in the smoothie, there was blueberry juice. Bremner's blueberry juice, yeah. And Bremner's Huscap. And uh, next year, what what did you learn, the challenges? Uh, a few teams were getting lost. Yes, teams were getting lost. Um, I won't say whether blue or red. Mostly red. <laughs> <laughs> no, we never once were lost. But no, it, it was all in all, it was a fun, fun day. We learned definitely that communications is the biggest thing. You know, we were running and you could not see the other person. You're chasing cattle and it was dangerous out there. At times we thought everybody was going to die, but we survived stronger than ever because it is dangerous. There's bears, there's cougars. And they said these cattle, if we didn't bring them in, they would be dying this winter for sure. And they did say that the, the reason the cows are running when we got there is because there's so many cougars and wolves in the area. And, and this is serious, remember them saying that? That they're spooked. So anything that comes along, they run. Yeah. So we could have died out there very, very easily. Except we are Remner's team. Yeah, and we, we can experience. Out, and we can outrun out death. Run death. Death. First the cow. Yes, the cow. Then the death. Yeah, then the death. Yeah. And again, not that the whole conversation here isn't serious, but one of the cool feelings I mentioned that I said was we were running down this hill, like the power line, chasing cattle, and you could hear the five or six horses coming behind us and you could just hear the the hoofs and the the horses breathing as they were catching up to us you know so that to me that was an incredible just moment feeling type thing and we also need the man trackers skills for tracking what has been on the trail which I'm not direction going to they get into man to, tracker because you know? that's a reality show and we all know that reality shows are not real. But there was an Australian who was able to track the cattle better. Oh, he Canadians. was incredible. And he's on this strange diet. And maybe that's what it is, is he does not eat all day, but from four o'clock to eight o'clock, he consumes all his food at night. And I think what it is, is he was so hungry because he hasn't been eating that he saw those not as cows, he as saw them food. as steaks. <laughs> as so <laughs> he found he found all of them. When the other guy on the blue team says that the blue team found them, I think it was the Australian found them. I agree. I agree. Okay. But yeah. they were the wrong cows. Sorry, Peter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were also the wrong sorry, cows. Peter. That's what <laughs> so. I was going to say. He found the neighbor's cows. Yeah. That is another... Long tag. Uh, <laughs> we were a little bit novice at this green gringos and when we first started the first kilometer it's oh my god what are we supposed to be doing we're looking for cows and then we heard somebody in the team probably the australian i hear cows and we looked out in these field oh let's go get those ones then we said no i think those are the neighbors our cattle boss is gonna be pissed off if we come back with 15 cows that belong to the neighbors. So that was another of the concerns that we only took the proper cows. Because if you steal a cow that's not yours, they hang you. That's so we actually, story here. we actually did him a favor by coming back with no cows. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a good thing. We came back with no cows. <laughs> yes. Well, the other challenge was if we go down there, how are we going to get them back up on these trails? <laughs> that would have been another 30, 20 miles. <laughs> and then anybody can do a race or a cattle roundup, but our cattle were the tougher ones. 
like on our way back, the Australian again, found some cows over there. So we go down to them. It's wide open area. And we then snuck up on them and realized they had a white tag in their ear and they weren't our cows. So we start carrying on and the cows started getting mad that we didn't round them up. <laughs> Like our cows were tough. Our cows were wild cows. Those ones were tame cows and they wanted to come home with us. They were city cows. City cows, yeah. City Somebody cows. said petting yeah. zoo cows. <laughs> petting zoo cows. Did you have fun? I had the greatest fun. <laughs> there were so many unexpected there. So learned quite a bit. Like as you mentioned at the earlier. Yeah, no, it was quite an adventure. Will you be back next year? Oh, I actually signed up already. Really? Yesterday, I signed up for the next year. With the cattle boss directly? Yeah, directly. Yeah. And I also understand that Dry Max was not involved in this race, but one of the guys on the red team came back with truckloads of garbage. Yeah, apparently uh, Dry Max could have gone bankrupt if we... Yeah, because he, he found... Filed for all of those. Beer cans, a cooler he put on a beer can. He actually sold Cutter. it for, for four four dollars. Then he found a beautiful leather glove. Oh, the cutter. Wore it for two thirds of the race, and then the cutter. The cutter. That he found a knife. Yes. We call it knife here. Okay. Knife uh, for security. Knife. He ran with that and a glove. Not a Michael Jackson glove. It was a real cowboy glove. <laughs> He won't, he won't quit. He's determined to go home with a side of beef. Yeah. <laughs> His wife is an absolute carnivore. And she said, don't come home unless you've got a whole pile of meat in the car. <laughs> and look at this. I'm now up to my $3.50. And a glove? And a glove. <laughs> it's a glove. It's, uh, it's left-handed. It's got someone's initial on it. And it's right-handed. <laughs> That's what happens when it's too big. Scotty. Yeah, Scotty Ranch. Scotty Ranch. Yeah. It was branded. The, yes. the glove was branded. And now it's been returned to its owner? Uh, well, not returned directly. I believe that cattle boss that we were working for is sent him a photo and holding it for ransom. Yes. Yeah. So the blue team lost some cows and they're about a thousand dollars a piece so the blue team lost i think we lost ten thousand dollars worth of <laughs> yeah, cattle. yeah we lost ten thousand dollars worth of cattle um so he's gonna ask i think ten thousand dollars for the glove i think to be honest the cowboys were really questioning but these stupid people in shorts and rudders and these big packs on their back are really doing here. They haven't a clue. They were concerned that the runners are gonna get lost, that the runners would not be able to run on a trail. Would they break our trip. ankles. And if they get lost, they might die out there. Yeah. So they were quite concerned about these stupid ultra runners. Up until the moment that one of the runners, I believe on the red team, he was running through tight bush and one of the fastest horses with the ca cattle boss on it and the horse was following him step for step. And then all of a sudden the guy on the red team was running fast through the trees and then he hears this clunk. But the cattle boss forgot that the runner is down at six feet and below. The horse is at seven feet, he's at eight to nine feet, and he hit a tree and bam, he's on the ground. So red team again, blue team, whatever, but the ultra runners are more agile in the trees. That's why they need us. That's why they need us. We're good at spotting the cows. We're not good. <laughs> and we we're, won't, we're good at, at losing them. <laughs> we're good at better, better at losing them. We won't say spotting because most of the ones that we spotted were somebody else's. <laughs> that was the blue team. The red team was... The red team did honestly find three. The blue team said they found two. A photo that proves nothing. And well, I think had the wrong tag on. Agreed. The, the red teams 
uh, the one guy on the red team described them to the T and the Cowboys all knew them specifically. The one bull which could kill you, it's killed people before, his name is Sammy. And uh, the one guy on the red team described the three to the T and they said, yes, those are ours. The blue teams, nobody really knew from that photo what it was. Would you agree with that? Well, it could have been a cow landed from Mars or something. Well, it was so blurry and fuzzy that you really couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> so blue team, they were hallucinating? I wouldn't say hallucinating. You know, the Australian was really good at finding cows. Maybe on the other team, ranches cows, but he did find them. We didn't find them, other than those three. Yeah. The Australian guy has a skill. I, well, he has a skill or he's, he's hungry. He also found the way down the mountain. So I think he was very hungry. <laughs> no, no, I'll disagree with that. Um, he wanted to go way around. And we said, no, we're just going down there. So we won't bring that up in the video that no, we, you know, he didn't no, find the no. way down the mountain. No, there, there was, sorry, at one point he did say, let's take this route. And we ended up at um, Luke's, no, uh, uh, Luz. Luz. Luz, yeah. And sign, you go past this and I will shoot you. So we, had, we were getting tired at that point, running out of food, fuel, water. And we had to turn around and climb back up that mountain. So we won't bring up that the blue guy, or sorry, the Australian got us down from the mountain. He got us down, but to a shooting range. To the shooting range. To the shoot, which does yeah, not do us any good. No, so we won't put that in the video. Any other comments? I, I do remember the Australian running fast up that steep hill and motivating the team. You mean to get home before dark running up the hill from the shooting range is yes. that the hill you're speaking of yes that he took us to <laughs> okay so he's running up the hill to not be shot the australian took us down to the shooting range then the blue guy got us back up and the australian was sprinting to get away from the shooting range i think he was that clearly because distracted. it was just right after 4 p.m and he was running for the food. Yeah, he yeah, was running, for, running food. for food. That was the that was the motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah that pretty much she said. Yeah, yeah. yeah we so. made it. And back. then, oh, sorry, back to cool moments. One was that sound of the horses, like genuinely, and then another one was we were just on the crest of the hill, mountain, overlooking the cattle, the the the, the ranch, and we were there. It was just getting dusk, and all the cowboys down there were cheering us on as we were up on the top of the range. And that was in another amazing feeling. Stop, move to the right. We want to take a picture. And there's the silhouette of us. Yeah. So that will be the closing clip on this video. The Lone Rangers. The City Slickers? Not the City Slickers. No, Curly, no. And no, none of the city slicker ultra runners delivered birth. Well, apparently we delivered. Uh, what was the uh, what was the uh, calves? I... Norman. Norman. Yes. Well, we didn't even find Norman. No, and the Australian would have eaten it. Yes. He, he was, was very his... hungry. He was very hungry. <laughs> so, fat dog is over. Fat, sorry, fat dog. First, oh, oh. Can't shoot me. we're not. Uh, fat Dog Cattle Roundup Ultra.